this is actually my second time filming this video. I filmed it like a few days ago, but the entire video was blurry and I was out of focus. And... Hey, hey y'all. Welcome to my first YouTube video. My name is April. I thought I'd start a YouTube channel because honestly, we've been in quarantine for two and a half months and it would give me something to do, it'd give the girls something to do, and I just kind of want to document my girls' growth, my growth, what we're doing, our journey, a lot of mom stuff, a lot of mom tips, cooking tips. I am planning a wedding so we can have wedding content if that's something that you want to see. Anything that I do that you guys want to see, of course, let me know and I'm open to doing that as well. I've been organizing my house like crazy since we've been on quarantine. I'm sure a lot of you guys have too. You should see the amount of Amazon packages. I don't want to talk about it. I don't have a problem. Mind your business. So yeah, we're going to fall into the lifestyle category for now until we kind of find our niche and see where things go from here. But that's where we're going to start. This video is going to be sort of a meet the family type video. I'm just going to introduce you to myself and my family. That way you know who you will see when you come to this channel. So let's get started. Well, I guess we should start with me since I'm the face you're seeing. So my name is April. I don't know if I told you that already. I am 27, I think. I can't be the only one who forgets my age, right? Other people forget their age. I'm not just weird. I think, I'm pretty sure I'm 27. I just had a birthday. Um, it was actually a quarantine birthday, which was pretty interesting, I guess. It honestly, I feel like so many more people reached out and did little things for me because I was stuck in my house. Yeah, I'm bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Bored in the motherfucker in the house bored and I'm bored in the motherfucker in the house bored. And they didn't want me to feel like I was stuck in my house. So it was actually a pretty great birthday. I did go to school. I went to college for four years. I have a bachelor's degree in science. Throughout that experience, I was a nanny and I absolutely loved it. I have actually been with the same family for seven years. I've always been around kids. I've always loved kids. I've always been pretty patient when it comes to kids. I love my job. Actually, what's really cool about my job is because I have been with them for so long, I was with them way before I had kids. So then when I had kids, my kids were actually able to come to work with me, which was just perfect. The kids were older, uh, the kids that I nannied, that is, they were older and it was easy for me to care for my little ones while working. So I've always been able to kind of do a lot, I guess. So yeah, I'm 27, I'm a nanny, I have a bachelor's degree, I went to college. Um, that's also something I can do a video on college. I was a first time college student. I went to private school. Why? I don't know. I was a first time college student. So I know a lot of people out there don't have tips on how to even get started or where to start or what, what are college hours or how do you pick your major, things like that. So I can definitely help in those areas too if you want to see a video on things that I personally kind of stumbled my way through and had to find out the hard way. I can always do that. So yeah, I kind of had to stumble my way through college and when my sister was getting ready to go to college, I felt like there was a lot she didn't know. There's really not a lot of information out there if you don't know where to find it. If you're a first generation college student like I was, it always kind of helps just to get another person's point of view on things. And I personally don't think college is for everybody. I have a whole bachelor's degree and I'm nanny. So there's that. And now I'm doing YouTube. So maybe long term, short term, I don't know how long this will last, but um, that's what I'm doing right now. So yeah, if it's something you're interested in or you want to see or you know somebody who might be interested in that, definitely send them my way and let me know. I am engaged. I've actually been engaged for a really long time. That's a whole separate video. Then, But since I am engaged, I am planning a wedding so I can also do wedding things and what I bought. It's a lot of DIY for my wedding. I did not hire a wedding planner at all. I just didn't feel like we wanted to spend $2,000 on that. I can also do wedding planning um, videos if that's something you guys are interested in too. I will have a wedding videographer so we will definitely document that here also on our social medias more than likely. I have so many people who have been waiting just as long as I have to see that footage. Uh, it hasn't happened yet, but when it does happen, I will definitely post it here. So I think that was pretty much all about me. Let me introduce you to my girls. So for 
first we have Liliana. We do call her Lil. We call her Lily. My mom calls her Toots. If you ask her what her name is, she's probably going to say Toots, which that's not her name, but that's what she wants you to call her. She is three years old. She is such a little girly girl. She loves all things unicorn. She loves all things rainbows. She loves all things princesses. She loves all things glitter and sparkles and she's obsessed with trolls. She's definitely a little personality. Every morning she wakes up she wants to be a different character whether it's Minnie Mouse or Poppy or Princess Tiana or Princess Jasmine. Every day you have to address her as a new name. Depending on what day it is that's what name she wants to be called and you better call her that name or she's going to be very upset. Speaking of very upset, I feel like we bypassed the terrible twos. When she was two, she was so polite. Everything was please and thank you. She was so sweet when she was two. So I feel like we never had any problems when she was two years old. But now that she's three, she has gotten so sassy. She, I think, is trying to kind of navigate her way through who she can and can't talk to a certain way and how she can and can't act in front of certain people and yeah, I think she's just learning. Now that she's three, she has a lot more sass. We're in the stage to where she doesn't understand that she can't just talk back to me. <laughs> and she, we're in the stage to where she doesn't understand that she can't roll her eyes at her daddy because that's not nice. If you tell her like you're being rude, she will tell you, okay, I'm sorry. She has always been so smart. I taught Liliana sign language at six months old and I feel like that really helped her a lot in learning words and um, being able to communicate. I never had to wonder whether she was hungry or thirsty or tired because she could always just tell me through her signs, which I thought that was amazing that she was able to communicate with me. And it kind of cut back on the crying a lot more, on the whining a lot more because she always knew that she could communicate with me. So I feel like that was a big stepping stone in helping her be so advanced. She learned her colors really early on. She learned her ABCs really early on. She's always been so social. If she sees you out and about, she wants to know your name. She wants to know your kid's name. She wants to know your dog's name. Um, she loves animals. If you have a dog, she will ask so politely, may I please pet your dog? And of course, who's gonna tell her no? I mean, look at her face. So <laughs> she's just a very girly girl. She does wear glasses. And that was another learning curve that she had to take on. There, I can make a whole separate video on her glasses and why she has glasses and her eye condition and um, just kind of get more in depth on that. If that's something that you guys want to see as well, I can do that. Yeah, so that's Liliana. You will probably honestly see a lot of her in these videos. She wants to be in front of the camera. She wants to be the center of attention. She does help me cook a lot. So she, old bake rather. She always wants to be doing something. So you will probably see a lot of her. And honestly, she's probably gonna be the reason that you come back to this channel. So yay for that. Oh, one other thing about her is she does have very long, very thick, very, very curly hair. And I get questions all the time on um, how I keep it moisturized and what products I use and um, how I come up with the styles that I put in her hair. So if that's something you are definitely curious about, let me know. I have not always been knowledgeable in those things. It was definitely a learning curve for me as well because I do have curly hair, but it's not nearly as thick and as curly as Liliana. So I really had to teach myself and learn how to care for her hair type. If that's something that you struggle with or just something that you're interested in seeing, definitely let me know and I can do a video on that as well. So next we have our second daughter and her name is Camila. We call her Mila. Um, Liliana calls her my Mila and my mom calls her Pooch. Gamila is eight months old. She is still nursing. My goal with Gamila is to nurse her to 12 months. I'm pretty sure we'll get there. That's just my preference. I don't want to have to nurse her after that. When I say mom tips, that's the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. I have breastfed two girls. I have had two very different birthing experiences, if you guys are interested in that. We're not really supposed to talk about how hard it is and how difficult birth is because you get this magical thing afterwards words but I didn't know what to expect it was scary for me because things didn't go the way that they were supposed to go and 
I didn't have any previous knowledge on what to do and what to expect and how it was going to go and what my healing process was going to be like and what breastfeeding was going to be like and how challenging it truly is to breastfeed. People just expect you to do it and be great at it because that's what your body's supposed to do and it's not like that for everybody. And it sucks that we have this stigma that this is what we're supposed to do and this is what we're made for and why can't we do it. I just think a fed baby is a happy baby and it doesn't matter how that baby is fed as long as you as a mom are taking care of yourself as well because it is so hard. So yeah, I can do a video on breastfeeding and how I got through it and what really helped me if you want to see that as well. But back to Camila, she is eight months old. She will be nine months old soon. She oddly enough isn't crawling yet, which I don't know why that's odd for me, but Liliana crawled pretty early. Like I said, she's always been pretty advanced. So Camila's not crawling yet and she actually doesn't have any teeth either. Is that weird? Like, is she supposed to have teeth? I don't know. She's supposed to go to the dentist when she's six months old, but she doesn't have any teeth. So why am I going to take her to the dentist? Doesn't make any sense. So yeah, she doesn't have any teeth. She's not crawling, but she is in her walker constantly. That pretty much is her independence is her walker. She nine times out of 10 is in her walker. She likes to be in her walker. Most of the time she will play, she'll have fun in her walker, but other times she uses it as her weapon and her tool of choice. You will know when she's angry. She's yelling, she's screaming. She is the hardest baby to entertain. She doesn't understand why she should be amused by your faces and your gestures and your tickling. Like she doesn't think that that's funny at all. So don't try it with her. Honestly, the only people who can make her laugh are me, her dad and her sister Liliana. Other than that, she's really not impressed. She will stare at you blankly with a lot of sass and wonder who you are and what you're doing in her house. And honestly, you guys, I think out of all of us, Camila's kind of taking this whole quarantine the hardest. She can be social. She is very, very attached to me. And it's not even just that she's still nursing because she doesn't really nurse often that much anymore. But I think it's more that I'm the only person she sees. I'm the only person that is with her every day and I'm the only person that she knows. Which before the quarantine, we would go to the gym and they would go to the kids club and they would be forced to be with other people and other kids and be able to be nurtured by other people, which now she's not, it's just me. So yeah, I really don't think that she's taking that well. She's getting very attached. I feel like every day she just gets more and more attached and it's not just a lot for her, it's a lot for everybody because we can't do anything without her throwing a fit if she's not happy. So yeah, I don't know how we're gonna get past that. I'm sure we will. We get past everything, so I'm sure we will. And maybe you guys have tips and maybe you guys know of some things that can help us out as well. Yeah, I just really think that she, out of everybody, is taking this the hardest. I think it's going to have the most effect on her that she's not able to be social and she's not getting all of the different stimulation that Liliana was getting. Okay, so as for Camila, you probably won't see a lot of her. I will probably be doing most of my filming when she's napping just because it is a lot to tend to her and her needs and her being so clingy and also do something else at the same time. Um, when she is in a good mood, I get spurts of good moods and I don't know how long she will allow me to film. So you probably won't be seeing much of her, but I will always insert pictures of her and her growth and how she's doing. Her first birthday is coming, so that's exciting. I will definitely document all of that and our theme and how we go about it and yeah you can join us for that if that's something that you'd like to see too so yeah that's about all for Camila lastly I'm going to talk about my fiance um, his name is Horace he works quite a bit so you're not gonna see very much of him at all I'm just going to discuss him briefly yeah me and Horace we met on Instagram which we don't really talk about a lot because we just don't we actually bonded over basketball so I at the time was a huge Spurs fan um, as you know with the quarantine there's no sports but that's really how we got to know each other he was a big Spurs fan which is strange because he lived in Alabama because even when Spurs are championships, we don't really get a lot of interviews. We don't really get a lot of promotion. Um, so for him to be a Spurs fan and in Alabama, it was just strange. So that's how we kind of bonded and we met over Instagram. And then 
he moved to Texas and it's kind of been history ever since. I love the life that we've created together. We have two beautiful girls. Um, he's such a good dad. I couldn't really honestly ask for much more. So this wedding is far and long overdue. Hopefully the virus won't or all of this stuff will clear up by that time and we will finally be able to have our wedding. So yeah, that's really all I'm gonna say about him. I don't know how much information he wants me to share, but that's all I'm really comfortable sharing. I don't know that you'll see much of him in my videos just because he is working a lot and I don't know that we would have time to film when he is here. Also, we have two girls. I'm probably going to be filming a lot during nap time. Hopefully things will be going a lot smoother than they did this time. It was my first time. I guess that's it, but thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking around. I'm sure this one was a rough one. Yeah, until then, you guys stay safe, take care of yourself, wear your mask, social distance, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye. I don't know if you can hear like a banging on the window. Liliana is just right outside the door, so. <laughs> Liliana's stuck. Her hair is stuck on the doorknob. I'll be right back.